Hello dear students. Today we are going to solve exercise 2.2. Solve this story sums. A school library had 66,500 books. So let us write total book in the library. Total books. So in a library it had 66,500 books. Okay. So from there 8,947 books were issued to students and 4,033 books to the teachers. So let's write total books issued. So how many books issued to students? Two students. 8,947 books were issued and to teacher 4,033. So what is the total of this two? Let us find out. 8,947 plus 4,033. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. It's carry 1 become 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. 9 comes down. 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. So it's 12,980. Do you understand this? In a library there were 66,500 books. From there... 8,947 books were issued to students and 4,033 books were issued to teacher. So that means total 12,980 books were issued. So now question is that how many books are still in the library? Okay, now I have to find out how many books are still present in the library. Therefore, number of books still present still in the library library is equal to so we will minus this issued book from the total books so total book 6500 minus 12980 let's find this so 6 66500 minus 12980 minus it so 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 right so we can cannot minus this so it will become 10 become 4 10 minus 8 is equal to 2 so again we have to borrow 1 from here so you borrow it becomes 14 14 minus 9 is equal to 5 right and then 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 6 minus 1 is equal to so answer is 53,520. Do you understand this? Now after issuing this book, this amount of, this number of book from total number in library it remains 53,520 books. Alright. Now look at the second question. Mrs. Patnayak bought a laptop for 42,555. Let's write. Given that she bought a laptop. What is the cost of laptop? Cost of laptop is equal to rupees 42,555. And a refrigerator for on that was priced 7,920 less than the laptop. So now we know that she bought a laptop. Uh, refrigerator too but she is giving a trick to find out the so we have to find out this one okay she told that refrigerator cost 7920 rupees less than laptop now we have to find out so cost of laptop a uh, cost of refrigerator is cost of laptop Top minus 7920 that means she told that the cost of refrigerator is 
seven thousand nine hundred twenty rupees less than the cost of lap laptop. Now let us find it out. So cost of laptop was forty two thousand five hundred fifty five minus seven hundred nine or uh, seven thousand nine hundred twenty. Now let us find out the cost of refrigerator. Forty two thousand five hundred fifty five minus seven thousand nine hundred twenty. So here five minus zero is equal to five. Five minus two is equal to three. So we will borrow one. It will become fifteen. Fifteen minus nine is equal to six. Now again we will borrow one. So eleven minus three is equal. Eleven minus seven is equal to four. Here remains. Three. That means the cost of refrigerator was thirty-four thousand six hundred thirty-five. Now our question is that how much did she pay for bought? So what is the total cost? She pay for the both cost, both for laptop and refrigerator. So now we know what is the cost of refrigerator, right? It is thirty-four thousand six hundred and thirty-five. So now total cost. Total to find out total cost, we will add both the prices. So one is forty two thousand five hundred fifty five, and the another one is thirty four thousand six hundred thirty five. Let us find out total cost. So let us find forty two thousand five hundred fifty five plus thirty four thousand six hundred thirty five. Five plus five is equal to ten. It carries one plus one six seven eight nine. Again, five plus six is equal to eleven. It carries one. It becomes three. Three plus four is equal to seven. Again, four plus three is equal to seven. That means Mrs. Patnaik spent seventy-seven thousand one hundred and ninety-nine. Rupees to buy a laptop and a refrigerator. Do you understand this? Now look at question number three. There are fifty five thousand two hundred ninety nine honeybees in a beehive. Let us write this. So total honeybees. How many honeybees were there? There are fifty five thousand two hundred and nineteen honeybees uh, were there. Okay. On Monday, four thousand six hundred eighty-four bees went out in the morning looking for flowers. Do you understand this? So on this Monday morning, how many honeybees went out? Three thousand two hundred seventy-six honeybees from the beehive. They went out in search of flower. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Four thousand six hundred eighty-four bees went out in the morning, and three thousand two hundred seventy-six went out in the afternoon. So our first question is that how many bees went out on Monday? So let us see. We know the total honey bees were fifty-five thousand two hundred ninety-nine. So number of bees went out. Went out in the morning is equal to how much? Four thousand six hundred eighty-four. Now, number of bees went out in the afternoon. It was three thousand two hundred seventy. Six. Okay. Now we'll find out total number of bees went out. To find out the total number of bees, we will simply add these two: four thousand six hundred eighty-four plus three thousand two hundred seventy-six. Four thousand six hundred. Now find it. Find it out. Okay, 
So 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. It's carry 1. It become 8. 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. Carry 1. 1 plus 6, 7, 8, 9. 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's how much? 7,690 bees went out on the month on the month Monday. Uh, yes. So in the morning, 4,684 went out, and in the afternoon, 3,276. That means as total, 7,960 bees went out on the month on the Monday. Now we have to find out. How many bees did not? So now our question is that how many bees did not went out, did not go out on Monday from their beehive? So we know that there were total bees. <coughs> 55,299 bees were there. And out of 55,929 bees, sorry, 999 bees, 7960 bees went out that day right so if we minus the number of bees that went out so from the total number of bees then we will get how many bees did not leave behind that day so let us do this so here 55299 minus 7000 960 and then the space there so i have done here 9 minus 0 is equal to 9 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 and again we have to borrow 12 12 minus 9 is equal to 4 sorry 3 again we'll borrow 14 minus 7 is equal to 7 and here 4 that means 47,339 bees were in the beehive day day and they did not go out of the beehive. So answer is 47,339. Now look at the question number 4. Mary takes a loan of 80 lakh from a bank to buy a house. If she also pays 7 lakh from her own saving, how much does the house cost? Very simple. Just add this to amount and we will get the cost of house. Given. Amount of money taken. from bank is equal to 80 lakh amount of money taken from her savings is equal to 7 lakh total cost of the house is equal to 80 lakh plus 7 lakh that means it is 87 lakh you understand this i know that this line that amount of money taken from bank to buy a house that is 80 just you understand this okay and it actually doesn't matter you have to just understand that how much money she has taken from bank and from her savings okay and that's how to find out the total cost of the house just add this to amount the money taken from bank and money taken taken from her savings so as total gives us the total cost of the house that's for that's all for today thank you